Accountable. Accountable. When someone is accountable, he or she is responsible for the effects of his or her actions. Political leaders are accountable to the people they represent. Addictive. Addictive. If something is addictive, it is hard to stop doing. I think this game is very addictive. Agenda. Agenda. An agenda is a plan or goal that guides someone's behavior. The man is pushing his questionable agenda on his colleagues. Coin, coin. To coin is to create a new word or phrase that other people begin to use. The coach coined the phrase. There is no I in team. Correlate, correlate. To correlate is to have a close connection to something. Scientists believe that brain size might correlate with intelligence. Depression. Depression. Depression is a medical condition that makes a person very unhappy for long periods of time. Ron decided to get help for his depression. Digital. Digital. When something is digital, it is characterized by computer technology. Students prefer to take notes on their laptops and other digital devices. Importance, importance. Importance is the quality or state of being important, valuable, or significant. The professor lectured the students on the importance of communication strategies. Keyboard, keyboard. A keyboard has buttons marked with letters and numbers that are pressed to put information into a computer. Paul spilled coffee all over his keyboard. Loneliness. Loneliness. Loneliness is the unhappiness that is felt by someone if they do not have any friends. Many people join social clubs to escape loneliness. Media. Media. Media is the different ways of entertaining and giving information to the public. Many people like to express their opinions online using social media. Platform, platform. A platform is something that allows someone to tell a large number of people about an idea, product, etc. The band uses their music as a platform to express their political beliefs. Poor, poor. When something is poor, it is not as good as it could or should be. The condition of the sidewalk is very poor. Presence, presence. Presence is when someone or something is present in a particular place. The researcher discovered the presence of bacteria in the water sample. Subject, subject. To subject is to cause or force someone or something to experience something harmful or unpleasant. The location of the trees will subject them to strong winds from the hurricane. Surge, surge. A surge is a sudden large increase in something. All at once, there was a surge of runners at the finish line. Survey, survey. A survey is a set of questions that are asked to a large number of people in order to find out about opinions. I filled out a survey about my shopping experience at the department store. Target, target. To target is to aim an attack at someone or something. Scientists are looking for new drugs to target cancer cells. Trend, trend. A trend is a general tendency in the way a situation is changing or developing. Lucy likes to think she started this fashion trend. Validate. Validate. To validate is to make someone feel that his or her ideas and feelings are respected. Winning first prize will validate all of Tony's hard work. 
Social media. All around the world, people who have mobile devices are likely to have a presence on social media. However, data reveals a link between social media use and a surge in health issues. Anxiety and depression are two such issues. Research suggests that social media use may be correlated to lower self control. Lower self control often causes poor or addictive behavior. Social media has been described to be more addictive than tobacco and alcohol. People may rely on social media as a form of escapism and for mood modifying effects. These are similar to the reasons people become dependent on addictive substances. Surveys about social media show that a surprising number of teenagers have been subjected to cyberbullying. Cyberbullies can easily remain anonymous, they are accountable to no one. So they use social media to target victims and spread rumors. This has become so common that the term keyboard warrior has been coined. A keyboard warrior's agenda is to write abusive posts while staying hidden. The effects of cyberbullying can be traumatic. There are other negative effects of social media's popularity. People sometimes use social networking platforms to show their best selves. A recent social media trend is to upload. And broadcast video clips to share a piece of one's life. However, instead of feeling accepted and validated, people end up comparing their lives with other people. This trap of comparing lives may lead to symptoms of depression. Social media use has also been linked to feelings of social isolation. The more people use social media, the more they realize that their digital friends may not actually be real friends. This feeling of isolation may cause a person to experience extreme loneliness. We see social media used in the personal and professional lives of those around us. It's apparent that it's here to stay. Therefore, it's necessary to consider the importance of educating people on how to use social media effectively and safely. Social media. All around the world, People who have mobile devices are likely to have a presence on social media. However, data reveals a link between social media use and a surge in health issues. Anxiety and depression are two such issues. Research suggests that social media use may be correlated to lower self control. Lower self control often causes poor or addictive behavior. Social media has been described to be more addictive than tobacco and alcohol. People may rely on social media as a form of escapism and for mood modifying effects. These are similar to the reasons people become dependent on addictive substances. Surveys about social media show that a surprising number of teenagers have been subjected to cyberbullying. Cyberbullies can easily remain anonymous, they are accountable to no one, so they use social media to target victims and spread rumors. This has become so common that the term Keyboard warrior has been coined. A keyboard warrior's agenda is to write abusive posts while staying hidden. The effects of cyberbullying can be traumatic. There are other negative effects of social media's popularity. People sometimes use social networking platforms to show their best selves. A recent social media trend is to upload and broadcast video clips to share a piece of one's life. However, instead of feeling accepted and validated, people end up comparing their lives with other people. This trap of comparing lives may lead to symptoms of depression. Social media use has also been linked to feelings of social isolation. The more people use social media, the more they realize that their digital friends may not actually be real friends. This feeling of isolation may cause a person to experience extreme loneliness. We see social media used in the personal and professional lives of those around us. It's apparent that it's here to stay. Therefore, it's necessary to consider the importance of educating people on how to use social media effectively and safely. Carbon. Carbon. Carbon is a chemical element. Carbon is found in coal. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. 
Carbon dioxide is a gas made from one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. There is carbon dioxide in the smoke from coal power plants. Dust, dust. Dust is very small, dry particles of earth or sand. Some people wear medical face masks to avoid breathing in fine dust and germs. Emit, emit. To emit is to send out gas, heat, light, sound, etc. This iron emits steam. Enable, enable. To enable is to make it possible for something to happen. Studying hard will enable the girl to get a good job. Grind, grind. To grind is to break something into small pieces or powder. We grind wheat to make flour. Heal, heal. To heal is to become healthy or well again. This ointment will help heal your wounds. Integrate. Integrate. To integrate is to make something a part of another larger thing. More women are being integrated into the military. Leading, leading. When something is leading, it is the most advanced or best. Teresa is the leading expert on brain surgery for dogs. Moreover, moreover. Moreover is used to introduce information that adds to or supports what has previously been said. Marianne likes to walk to work to save money. Moreover, it is good exercise. Object. Object. To object is to feel or say that you oppose or disapprove of something. The students object to raising the tuition. Pollutant, pollutant. A pollutant is a substance that makes the air or water not safe for use. A pollutant in the water killed this fish. Powder, powder. Powder is a dry substance in the form of very small grains. Turmeric is a yellow powder used in cooking. Prompt, prompt. To prompt is to cause someone to do something. The tight deadline will prompt the employee to work very hard. Reject, reject. To reject is to refuse to accept, believe in, or agree with something. I'm afraid the teacher will reject my new idea. Skeptic, skeptic. A skeptic is a person who disagrees with particular claims that are generally thought to be true. Kevin is a skeptic because he never believes anyone or anything. Substance, substance. A substance is a particular type of solid, liquid, or gas. Arsenic is a poisonous substance. Substantially. Substantially, if something changes substantially, it changes a lot. The price of the apartment went up substantially. Ton, ton. A ton is a unit for measuring weight equal to two thousand pounds or nine hundred seven point two kilograms. This dump truck can carry up to twenty-five tons. Transport. Transport. Transport is the system or method of carrying passengers or goods from one place to another. Cargo ships are used for the transport of manufactured goods. Enhanced weathering. Air pollution is not only a contributor to global warming, but also to poor air quality. It can have negative effects on human health. Carbon dioxide is the leading pollutant, with billions of metric tons emitted annually by the burning of fossil fuels. Burning less fossil fuels is the obvious way to reduce carbon dioxide. Unfortunately, 
A tremendous number of people rely on fossil fuels for heating, electricity, and transport. This has prompted scientists to look for different approaches to reducing carbon dioxide. Weathering is when chemical compounds in the atmosphere react with chemical compounds on the planet's surface. The weathering of rocks refers to the chemical breakdown of rocks. This occurs when rain, which contains carbon from the atmosphere, comes in contact with rocks. The carbon is captured and embedded in the rocks. This is a natural process and can substantially remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. However, this process is extremely slow. Scientists have been studying ways to integrate this process. They have discovered a technique to speed up weathering. They call this enhanced weathering. Certain types of rocks, such as olivine, are crushed into a fine powder. The powder is spread over a large land surface to be rained on. This process decreases the time of natural weathering by maximizing the rock's exposure to carbon. There are skeptics, however. Some people are uncertain about the effects of enhanced weathering. Some even object to this approach. Rocks such as olivine may contain toxic substances that can contribute to polluting the planet. Also, grinding rocks produces dust. The dust can be harmful to human health. Moreover, the process of crushing and transporting rock may cause additional carbon emissions. Although more data needs to be collected, scientists have not completely rejected enhanced weathering. They are hopeful that it will enable the safe removal of atmospheric carbon dioxide. Scientists are working together to help improve air quality, combat global warming, and heal our planet. Enhanced Weathering Air pollution is not only a contributor to global warming, but also to poor air quality. It can have negative effects on human health. Carbon dioxide is the leading pollutant, with billions of metric tons emitted annually by the burning of fossil fuels. Burning less fossil fuels is the obvious way to reduce carbon dioxide. Unfortunately, a tremendous number of people rely on fossil fuels for heating, electricity, and transport. This has prompted scientists to look for different approaches to reducing carbon dioxide. Weathering is when chemical compounds in the atmosphere react with chemical compounds on the planet's surface. The weathering of rocks refers to the chemical breakdown of rocks. This occurs when rain, which contains carbon from the atmosphere, comes in contact with rocks. The carbon is captured and embedded in the rocks. This is a natural process and can substantially remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. However, this process is extremely slow. Scientists have been studying ways to integrate this process. They have discovered a technique to speed up weathering. They call this enhanced weathering. Certain types of rocks, such as olivine, are crushed into a fine powder. The powder is spread over a large land surface to be rained on. This process decreases the time of natural weathering by maximizing the rock's exposure to carbon. There are skeptics, however. Some people are uncertain about the effects of enhanced weathering. Some even object to this approach. Rocks such as olivine may contain toxic substances that can contribute to polluting the planet. Also, grinding rocks produces dust. The dust can be harmful to human health. Moreover, the process of crushing and transporting rock may cause additional carbon emissions. Although more data needs to be collected, scientists have not completely rejected enhanced weathering. They are hopeful that it will enable the safe removal of atmospheric carbon dioxide. Scientists are working together to help improve air quality, combat global warming, and heal our planet. Our planet. Align. Align. To align is to support a political group, country, or person that you agree with. The crowd seemed to align themselves with the protesters. Authority. Authority. An authority is someone who has the power to make decisions and enforce rules and laws. The local police department is the authority whenever large crowds gather.
Barn, barn. A barn is a large farm building that houses crops, equipment, and animals. My grandparents keep hay in their red barn. Betray, betray. To betray is to be disloyal to someone who trusts you. The four friends would never betray each other's trust. Bible, Bible. The Bible is the book of sacred writing in the Christian religion. I read the Bible every night before I go to sleep. Catholic, Catholic. A Catholic thing or person is one that is connected with the Roman Catholic Church. Roseanne is Catholic, so she goes to church every Sunday. Cooperate, cooperate. To cooperate is to work with someone to achieve something that you both want. The members of the team agreed to cooperate in order to get the project done. Detain, detain. To detain is to officially prevent someone from leaving a place. The police had to detain the thief for shoplifting. Exit, exit. An exit is something that is used as a way to get out of a place. The green sign shows where the exit is located. Exceptional, exceptional. An exceptional thing or person is one that is outstanding. Holly is an exceptional student. Flee, flee. To flee is to leave somewhere very quickly in order to escape from danger. When a predator approaches a deer, the deer will flee. Network, network. A network is a group of people or organizations that are in some way connected to each other. Leslie is part of a volunteer network that plants trees in the city. Outrage, outrage. To outrage is to make someone feel very angry or shocked. He was outraged when his proposal was turned down. Parish, parish. A parish is the area for which a priest in some Christian churches is responsible. Greg's parish has grown over the past year. Passage, passage. A passage is a narrow space that people can move through. Follow the passage down the stairs. Pastor, pastor. A pastor is a minister in charge of a parish or church. The pastor speaks to the members of the church. Patrol, patrol. A patrol is a group of people or vehicles that go through an area to make sure that it is free of trouble or danger. The military patrol is responsible for keeping the area safe. Raid, raid. To raid is to attack a place in a short time in order to cause damage. The soldiers are looking for the people who continue to raid the jungle villages. Rail, rail. A rail is a system of tracks on which trains travel. I prefer traveling by rail because it's more convenient than driving through traffic. Tunnel, tunnel. A tunnel is an underground passage for cars, trains, etc. to go through. The tunnel will lead you to the next city. Le Chambon sur Lignon. During World War II, thousands of foreign-born and French Jews had to flee from the Nazis, who were capturing them and taking them to the death camps. A small number of individuals throughout Europe were involved in saving the Jews, but in Le Chambon sur Lignon, a small remote village in south central France. The entire community joined in the rescue efforts. Most of the villagers of Le Chambon sur Lignon were descendants of the Huguenots. The Huguenots were Protestants who once endured persecution in Catholic France. They never wanted to forget their own history. A pastor named Andre Trocmé saw the Jews as the Bible's people. He began hiding them. Hundreds of families aligned themselves with his parish and agreed to help. 
the residents cooperated in several ways. They risked their lives by hiding the Jews from Nazi patrols. They offered shelter in their own homes, barns, and public buildings, such as orphanages and schools. They forged identification papers to enable Jews to escape. They guided a number of refugees across the border by rail and on foot. The refugees had to travel through underground tunnels and mountain passages to the safety of Switzerland, which was a neutral country during the war. The village received support from people in other places as well. There was an extensive underground network of individuals throughout the region who helped along the way. Even when the Germans were outraged and raided the village and detained people thought to be helping the Jews, the villagers defied authorities. They did not betray each other either. They continued to protect the refugee and by doing so were able to continue to provide an exit to safety. The inhabitants provided refuge for an estimated 3,000 to 5,000 Jews. Today, the village of Les chambon sur lignon is seen as an exceptional example of a collective rescue effort during a truly dark time. Les chambon sur lignon During World War II, thousands of foreign-born and French Jews had to flee from the Nazis, who were capturing them and taking them to the death camps. A small number of individuals throughout Europe were involved in saving the Jews, but in Les chambon sur lignon a small remote village in south-central France, the entire community joined in the rescue efforts. Most of the villagers of Les chambon sur lignon were descendants of the Huguenots. The Huguenots were Protestants who once endured persecution in Catholic France. They never wanted to forget their own history. A pastor named André Trocmé saw the Jews as the Bible's people. He began hiding them. Hundreds of families aligned themselves with his parish and agreed to help. The residents cooperated in several ways. They risked their lives by hiding the Jews from Nazi patrols. They offered shelter in their own homes, barns, and public buildings, such as orphanages and schools. They forged identification papers to enable Jews to escape. They guided a number of refugees across the border by rail and on foot. The refugees had to travel through underground tunnels and mountain passages to the safety of Switzerland, which was a neutral country during the war. The village received support from people in other places as well. There was an extensive underground network of individuals throughout the region who helped along the way. Even when the Germans were outraged and raided the village and detained people thought to be helping the Jews, the villagers defied authorities. They did not betray each other either. They continued to protect the refugee and by doing so were able to continue to provide an exit to safety. The inhabitants provided refuge for an estimated 3,000 to 5,000 Jews. Today, the village of Les chambon sur lignon is seen as an exceptional example of a collective rescue effort during a truly dark time. Comfortable. When something is comfortable, it makes you feel relaxed, confident, and not worried. Will loves his comfortable new sofa. Education. Education. Education is the process of teaching and learning, usually at a school, college, or university. These students are receiving their education at a private school. Encouragement. Encouragement. Encouragement is something that makes someone more determined, hopeful, or confident. The mother gives constant encouragement to her son. Endorse. Endorse. To endorse is to express formal support or approval for someone or something. The committee will endorse their leader for the upcoming election. Equal. Equal. When something is equal, it is the same in size, number, amount, or value as something else. The apple and orange are equal in weight. Face. Face. To face is to deal with something in a direct way. Justin will face many challenges at work. Field. Field. A field is a subject that people study or an area of activity that they are involved in as part of their work. 
Jane works in the healthcare field. Foster. Foster. To foster is to help a skill, feeling, or idea develop over a period of time. The after-school program is designed to foster a sense of community at school. Guidance. Guidance. Guidance is help and advice that is given to someone about their work, education, or personal life. Ms. Smith provided valuable guidance to all her students. Hold, hold. To hold is to have a particular degree, title, record, job, or position. Damian will soon hold a degree in business administration. Inclusion, inclusion. Inclusion is the act of including someone or something in a larger group or set. The school promotes the inclusion of parents in their students' education. Inspire, inspire. To inspire is to encourage someone by making them feel confident and eager to do something. Jim's father likes to inspire his son by encouraging him to follow his dream. Mirror, mirror. Mirror is used to emphasize how small or unimportant something or someone is. Scott lost the race by a mere two seconds. Position, position. A position is a rank or role of someone in an organization or company. Kyle is interviewing for a marketing position. Power, power. Power is the ability to influence people or give them strong feelings. The coach has the power to keep the players from playing if they don't show up to practice. Responsibility. Responsibility. Responsibility is a task or duty that you are expected or required to do. Parents have the responsibility to raise their children with love. Soar. Soar. To soar is to increase quickly to a high level. The temperature today will soar to a high of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Tool, tool. A tool is a piece of equipment or a skill that is useful for doing your job. Presentation skills are an important tool for communication. Vocal, vocal. When someone is vocal. He or she expresses a strong opinion publicly. Sean gets vocal when someone disagrees with his opinions. Workplace, workplace. A workplace is the room or building where you work. Diversity is important in the workplace. Women in tech. The digital economy is soaring. There are over seven million jobs in the computer science and technology industries in the United States alone. Yet there is still a major gender gap when it comes to women in tech. These women face many challenges, as seen in a quit rate of 41 percent. So, what can be done to close this gender gap? How can we ensure fair pay and equal opportunities? First, women need to be inspired. And motivated to enter the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics (STEM), as well as computer science. According to statistics, 74% of young women express interest in STEM subjects and computer science. However, women hold only 18% of undergraduate computer science degrees and 26% of tech jobs. Early education must convey technology as a tool that can be applied to real life to solve problems. Many young women are put off because they view the technology sector to be too male-dominated. Women lack prominent roles, holding only a mere five percent of tech leadership positions. Therefore, women who are already in tech positions must act as mentors and endorse other women in these fields. They can play a huge role for young women by giving them encouragement, support, and guidance.
these women can help attract and retain more women and therefore create a level playing field. However, it is not just the women in tech who must be vocal. Men working in the tech industry have a responsibility to listen to women and foster a comfortable work culture. The leaders in the industry have the power to create new opportunities and promote the inclusion of women to close this gender gap. There must be a systematic approach from schools to workplaces, including the motivation of young women to study STEM and computer science. Women must provide support and mentorship, and men must listen to and encourage women. If we continue to empower women in the tech sector, it will be Women in Tech The digital economy is soaring. There are over 7 million jobs in the computer science and technology industries in the United States alone. Yet, there is still a major gender gap when it comes to women in tech. These women face many challenges, as seen in a quit rate of 41%. So, what can be done to close this gender gap? How can we ensure fair pay and equal opportunities? First, women need to be inspired and motivated to enter the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM, as well as computer science. According to statistics, 74% of young women express interest in STEM subjects and computer science. However, women hold only 18% of undergraduate computer science degrees and 26% of tech jobs. Early education must convey technology as a tool that can be applied to real life to solve problems. Many young women are put off because they view the technology sector to be too male-dominated. Women lack prominent roles, holding only a mere 5% of tech leadership positions. Therefore, women who are already in tech positions must act as mentors and endorse other women in these fields. They can play a huge role for young women by giving them encouragement, support, and guidance. These women can help attract and retain more women and therefore create a level playing field. However, it is not just the women in tech who must be vocal. Men working in the tech industry have a responsibility to listen to women and foster a comfortable work culture. The leaders in the industry have the power to create new opportunities and promote the inclusion of women to close this gender gap. There must be a systematic approach from schools to workplaces, including the motivation of young women to study STEM and computer science. Women must provide support and mentorship, and men must listen to and encourage women. If we continue to empower women in the tech sector, it will be Academic. Academic. When something is academic, it relates to schools and education. Alex received an award for his academic achievements. Acceptance. Acceptance. Acceptance is when people agree that an idea, statement, explanation, etc. is right or true. Mr. Song celebrated his acceptance into the political party. Array. Array. An array is a large group or number of things. The toy cars are available in an array of colors. Blur. Blur. To blur is to make something unclear or difficult to see or remember. The photographer can blur the bright lights into the background. Cafe. Cafe. A cafe is a small restaurant where you can buy drinks and simple meals. Monica works part-time at a cafe. Canvas. Canvas. A canvas is a thick piece of cloth that artists use to paint on. The artist paints bright colors on a canvas. Cinema. Cinema. A cinema is a building in which films are shown. My sister enjoys watching movies at the cinema. Class. Class. 
Class is the way people in society are divided into different social and economic groups. This upper class family travels on a private jet. Distinctive. Distinctive. When something is distinctive, it has a special quality, character, or appearance that is different and easy to recognize. Olives have a distinctive flavor. Key. Key. When something is key, it is extremely important. Marco is a key player on the country's national team. Movement. Movement. A movement is a series of organized activities in which people work together to do or achieve something. Booker T. Washington was a member of the civil rights movement. Practice. Practice. A practice is something that is done often or regularly. Samuel has made it a practice to read the newspaper every morning. Realistic, realistic. When something is realistic, it is shown as it is in real life. Dorothy is painting realistic images of fish. Reflection, reflection. A reflection is an image that is seen in a mirror or other shiny surface. The man stared at his reflection in the mirror. Rule, rule. A rule is an official instruction that says how things must be done or what is allowed. Wearing a helmet while riding a bicycle is a rule in some cities. Stroke, stroke. A stroke is a single movement of a pen or brush when you are writing or painting. The artist began with a yellow stroke on his painting. Sunlight. Sunlight. Sunlight is the natural light that comes from the sun. The sunlight shines through the trees. Traditional. Traditional. When something is traditional. It is based on old-fashioned ideas. I prefer traditional furniture. Unlike, unlike. Unlike is used in place of completely different from a particular person or thing. Unlike his older brother, Jim is short. Width, width. Width is the distance from one side of something to the other side. The man is measuring the width of the box. Impressionism. Impressionism is a movement that began in France in the late nineteenth century. It is considered to be the first modern art movement, as it was seen as a departure from other art. This is because it violated the established rules of academic painting. Unlike realistic academic paintings. Impressionist paintings are characterized by the depiction of light on objects. The artists aim to capture the light rather than the details in order to show an impression of time. This distinctive quality is achieved by using two key techniques. The first is a technique called impasto. Impasto is an Italian word that means mixture. In painting, impasto describes short, thick strokes. This technique allows the artist to control the reflection and movement of light on the canvas. The artist can modify the width and direction of the paint strokes to convey texture and give the painting a three-dimensional quality. Also, the speed and strength of the strokes can convey the artist's perception of the subject. The second technique is optical mixing. This involves the use of broken colors. In other words. Instead of the traditional practice of mixing an array of colors on a palette, artists paint different colors side by side. Doing this adds texture and plays on light, and it creates the illusion of different colors. Another difference between impressionist paintings and traditional paintings is the subject matter. During that time period, the accepted subjects were historical or literary themes. They were often based on religious or mythological subjects. Impressionists, on the other hand, preferred landscapes and contemporary life. They often painted outdoors, using the sunlight to depict a brighter style. 
Even though photography was starting to become popular, impressionists avoided representing reality. They demonstrated their individualism by playing with color and blurring the line between the subject and the background. In the mid-19th century, the middle class in Paris saw rapid growth. The city saw an increase in cafes, cinemas, parks, and boutiques. Impressionists captured the daily lives of the middle class, which appealed to the wider public, and eventually led to the acceptance of Impressionism into the art world. Impressionism Impressionism is a movement that began in France in the late 19th century. It is considered to be the first modern art movement, as it was seen as a departure from other art. This is because it violated the established rules of academic painting. Unlike realistic academic paintings, impressionist paintings are characterized by the depiction of light on objects. The artists aim to capture the light rather than the details in order to show an impression of time. This distinctive quality is achieved by using two key techniques. The first is a technique called impasto. Impasto is an Italian word that means mixture. In painting, impasto describes short, thick strokes. This technique allows the artist to control the reflection and movement of light on the canvas. The artist can modify the width and direction of the paint strokes to convey texture and give the painting a three-dimensional quality. Also, the speed and strength of the strokes can convey the artist's perception of the subject. The second technique is optical mixing. This involves the use of broken colors. In other words, instead of the traditional practice of mixing an array of colors on a palette, artists paint different colors side by side. Doing this adds texture and plays on light, and it creates the illusion of different colors. Another difference between Impressionist paintings and traditional paintings is the subject matter. During that time period, the accepted subjects were historical or literary themes. They were often based on religious or mythological subjects. Impressionists, on the other hand, preferred landscapes and contemporary life. They often painted outdoors, using the sunlight to depict a brighter style. Even though photography was starting to become popular, Impressionists avoided representing reality. They demonstrated their individualism by playing with color and blurring the line between the subject and the background. In the mid-19th century, the middle class in Paris saw rapid growth. The city saw an increase in cafes, cinemas, parks, and boutiques. Impressionists captured the daily lives of the middle class, which appealed to the wider public, and eventually led to the acceptance of Impressionism into the art world. world anthem anthem an anthem is a formal or religious song everyone sings the national anthem before the baseball game starts beyond 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 is used to say that one thing is more than another the job is beyond the man's ability determination Determination. Determination is what you have when you try to do something even when it is difficult. Chris is the youngest competitor, but he has the most determination. Fighting. Fighting. Fighting is physical conflict between people or groups in a war, in the street, etc. Heavy fighting continued for days. Joint. Joint. When something is joined, it is done by or involves two or more people or groups. Mike and Joanna are joint owners of a coffee shop. Landing. Landing. A landing is when you return to the ground or another surface after a flight or a boat ride. The man is in charge of leading the landing in the war zone. Mark. Mark. To mark is to celebrate an important event or time by doing something. My grandparents are having a party to mark their 50th anniversary. Mobilize. Mobilize. To mobilize is to prepare an army to fight in a war. 
Thousands of soldiers were ready to mobilize for the fight. Nation. Nation. A nation is a large area of land that is controlled by its own government. India is a nation that is developing rapidly. Originally. Originally. Originally is used in place of in the beginning or when something first happened or began. This building was originally a bank. Outbreak. Outbreak. An outbreak is a sudden start or increase of fighting or disease. The scientists prepared for an outbreak of a dangerous virus. Pray. Pray. To pray is to speak to God in order to ask for help or to give thanks. The girl likes to pray for world peace. Prisoner. Prisoner. A prisoner is someone who is taken by force and kept somewhere. He has been a prisoner for many years. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. To sacrifice is to give up something in order to get something you want or do something else for someone. Karen has had to sacrifice a lot for her children. Silence. Silence. Silence is the complete absence of sound or noise. I can only sleep in complete silence. Thus. Thus. Thus is used in place of as a result of something that was just mentioned. Victor wants to lose weight. Thus, he'll go on a diet and start exercising. Tribute. Tribute. A tribute is something that you say, do, or give in order to express respect for someone. In some countries, people wear poppies as a tribute to veterans. Victory. Victory. A victory is a situation in which you win a battle, game, election, or dispute. The man was thrilled with his victory. Wild. Wild. To be wild is to be without control. Dandelions grow wild in the cracks of the streets. Wound. Wound. To wound is to injure someone or something by cutting or breaking the skin. The boy knew he might wound his knees if he didn't wear pads on them. Anzac Day. April 25th is Anzac Day, Australia's National Day of Commemoration. It is a day to remember the Australian soldiers who served and sacrificed their lives for their country. Anzac Day marks the anniversary of when the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, Anzac, mobilized and landed on Turkey's Gallipoli Peninsula. It was just nine months after the outbreak of World War I. The objective of this joint mission was for the troops to capture what is now present-day Istanbul. At the time, Istanbul was the capital of the Ottoman Empire and an ally of Germany. The campaign involved fierce fighting for months and ended without victory at the end of 1915. Over 8,000 Australian soldiers lost their lives. By the end of the war, 60,000 were killed and over 150,000 were wounded or taken prisoner. Thus, April 25th became a day of remembrance. However, Anzac Day now goes beyond the day of the Gallipoli landing. Now, it is a day to pay tribute to all Australians who served and died in any military operation. Every year, on April 25th at 5.30 a.m., formal commemorative services are held across the nation. This is usually referred to as the dawn service. The service includes praying, laying wreaths of red poppies, observing a period of silence, and singing the national anthem. During the day, former servicemen and women march through major cities. People wear sprigs of rosemary on their coats to symbolize remembering and remembrance. Rosemary has particular significance because it grows wild across the Gallipoli Peninsula. 
Anzac Day was originally set to commemorate the anniversary of the landing in Gallipoli, but it is now a day to celebrate the courage, determination, and perseverance of the Australians, who served and died in all wars and peacekeeping operations. Anzac Day is also a day of unity, as people share their sorrow for the many lives lost in wars. Anzac Day April 25th is Anzac Day, Australia's National Day of Commemoration. It is a day to remember the Australian soldiers who served and sacrificed their lives for their country. Anzac Day marks the anniversary of when the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, Anzac, mobilized and landed on Turkey's Gallipoli Peninsula. It was just nine months after the outbreak of World War I. The objective of this joint mission was for the troops to capture what is now present-day Istanbul. At the time, Istanbul was the capital of the Ottoman Empire and an ally of Germany. The campaign involved fierce fighting for months and ended without victory at the end of 1915. Over 8,000 Australian soldiers lost their lives. By the end of the war, 60,000 were killed and over 150,000 were wounded or taken prisoner. Thus, April 25th became a day of remembrance. However, Anzac Day now goes beyond the day of the Gallipoli landing. Now, it is a day to pay tribute to all Australians who served and died in any military operation. Every year, on April 25th at 5.30 a.m., formal commemorative services are held across the nation. This is usually referred to as the dawn service. The service includes praying, laying wreaths of red poppies, observing a period of silence, and singing the national anthem. During the day, former servicemen and women march through major cities. People wear sprigs of rosemary on their coats to symbolize remembering and remembrance. Rosemary has particular significance because it grows wild across the Gallipoli Peninsula. Anzac Day was originally set to commemorate the anniversary of the landing in Gallipoli, but it is now a day to celebrate the courage, determination, and perseverance of the Australians, who served and died in all wars and peacekeeping operations. Anzac Day is also a day of unity, as people share their sorrow for the many lives lost in wars. Assimilate. Assimilate. To assimilate is to adopt the ways of a new culture and fully become a part of it. When the family moves to the U.S., they will assimilate into American culture. Attempt. Attempt. An attempt is an act of trying to do something, especially something difficult. This is Ben's second attempt to climb Mount Everest. Case. Case. A case is an example of a particular situation or of something happening. A deposit of $1,000 is required, but in this case, we will accept half. Cease. Cease. To cease is to stop doing something or to stop something happening. The rain will cease in the afternoon. Danger. Danger. Danger is the possibility that someone or something will be harmed, destroyed, or killed. Smoking cigarettes is a danger to health. Devastating. Devastating. If something is devastating, it causes great harm or damage to something or someone. The tsunami had devastating effects on the seaside village. Diversity. Diversity. Diversity is the quality or state of having many different forms, types, ideas, etc. My company puts an emphasis on the importance of having cultural diversity. Earthquake. Earthquake. An earthquake is a sudden shaking of a part of the Earth's surface that often causes a lot of damage. The earthquake caused the road to crack in multiple places.
Endangered. Endangered. If something is endangered, it has become very rare and may eventually die out altogether. The whooping crane is an endangered species. Extinction. Extinction. Extinction is when a particular animal, plant, type of person, custom, skill, etc., stops existing. The extinction of the dodo bird occurred in the 1600s. Forever, forever. We use forever in place of for all future time or for a very long time. Michelle and Tanya want to be best friends forever. Generally, generally. We use generally in place of in most cases. Or to most people, the suburbs are generally viewed as a good place to raise children. Genocide, genocide. Genocide is the deliberate murder of a whole group or race of people. As a result of the genocide, many children have been orphaned. Hit, hit. To hit is to affect someone or something. In a harmful or dangerous way, the ship was hit by a violent storm. Lose, lose. To lose is to have something that is important or necessary taken from you or destroyed. The family never thought they'd lose everything to fire. Native, native. If something is native. It refers to the place someone was born and raised. Carlos is a hero in his native country of Brazil. Percent, percent. A percent is an amount that is equal to one one hundredth of something. Liz needs to get eighty percent on her test to pass the course. Reason, reason. A reason is a statement or fact that explains why something is the way it is, or why someone does, thinks, or says something. The reason Eric is late for work is that he forgot to set his alarm. Reference. Reference. A reference is the act of referring to something or someone. My supervisor made a reference to the data I'd collected. Urban, urban. If something is urban, it is related to towns and cities. It is common to see tall buildings in urban areas. Endangered languages. Most people know about endangered plants and animals. However, not everyone is aware of the extent to which many languages are in danger of extinction. Currently, there are almost 500 languages that are officially endangered. According to statistics, 95% of the world's population only speaks 6% of the existing 7,000 languages. This means that only 6% speak all the other languages. Some languages have fewer than a dozen speakers. There are several reasons why languages become extinct. A key reason is the influence of the dominant languages. Generally, dominant languages are associated with higher social status and education. People who move to urban areas are forced to learn the dominant language. In most cases, the children do not learn their native language. In addition, many rural communities give up their linguistic heritage in an attempt to assimilate into mainstream culture. For example, India has lost 220 of 780 languages in the last 50 years. Once Hindi was recognized as the official language of India, the number of Hindi speakers increased from 260 million to over 420 million. Another reason languages may cease to exist is that the people who speak an endangered language may be in physical danger, such as from war or genocide. Many languages of the indigenous people in the Americas are either extinct or endangered for this very reason. Natural disasters and disease can also wipe out entire populations. When the people in a village of Papua New Guinea were hit by a devastating earthquake, all were wiped out. The language they spoke, Malol, was wiped out with them. Languages represent cultures and show diversity.
Losing a language equates to losing all cultural references expressed through linguistic means. The broader global community suffers because of the diminishing cultural and linguistic diversity. Therefore, efforts need to be made to preserve and revive endangered languages before they disappear forever. Endangered Languages Most people know about endangered plants and animals. However, not everyone is aware of the extent to which many languages are in danger of extinction. Currently, there are almost 500 languages that are officially endangered. According to statistics, 95% of the world's population only speaks 6% of the existing 7,000 languages. This means that only 6% speak all the other languages. Some languages have fewer than a dozen speakers. There are several reasons why languages become extinct. A key reason is the influence of the dominant languages. Generally, dominant languages are associated with higher social status and education. People who move to urban areas are forced to learn the dominant language. In most cases, the children do not learn their native language. In addition, many rural communities give up their linguistic heritage in an attempt to assimilate into mainstream culture. For example, India has lost 220 of 780 languages in the last 50 years. Once Hindi was recognized as the official language of India, the number of Hindi speakers increased from 260 million to over 420 million. Another reason languages may cease to exist is that the people who speak an endangered language may be in physical danger, such as from war or genocide. Many languages of the indigenous people in the Americas are either extinct or endangered for this very reason. Natural disasters and disease can also wipe out entire populations. When the people in a village of Papua New Guinea were hit by a devastating earthquake, all were wiped out. The language they spoke, Malol, was wiped out with them. Languages represent cultures and show diversity. Losing a language equates to losing all cultural references expressed through linguistic means. The broader global community suffers because of the diminishing cultural and linguistic diversity. Therefore, efforts need to be made to preserve and revive endangered languages before they disappear forever.